Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. It was a hot Monday afternoon across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, and that's translating very nicely into a hot evening. Temperatures still hanging out in the upper 80s and lower 90s, 88, both Arab and Albertville. Coleman sitting at 86 degrees, Athens and Decatur both sitting at 89. On the other end of the spectrum, though, Huntsville International still sitting at 92 degrees, Scottsboro sitting at 91, Fort Payne sitting at 90, as well Russellville and Moulton Florence. Good evening, you currently find yourselves sitting at 93 degrees this evening. I do have a little bit of good news for you. Dew points are actually beginning to fall off the later we get into the evening. Currently, many of us across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee are sitting in the mid and upper 60s. That is some really good news when you consider the fact that most of the afternoon dew points have been uh, right around 73 or 74 degrees. That drop in dew points is actually thanks to a cold front. Cold front now south of the Tennessee Valley, but it did move through North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee through a good majority of the afternoon and and then early into the evening. What does that mean for us? Well, that means dew points continue to fall this evening, and they're actually going to be quite low through a good majority of the week. By the time we get to Tuesday afternoon, we're actually talking about dew points in the comfortable category in the mid and upper 50s. Some of us talking about dew points in the lower 60s, but that's still a really nice transition compared to what we were talking about over the weekend and then this afternoon. A little more local. Penpoint Viper looking nice and quiet this evening, and I expect it's going to stay that way as we head into the overnight and through the next several days as well. As a matter of fact, our next opportunity for rain doesn't move into the Tennessee Valley until we get to Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday of next week. If we see any rain, it would be the result of an area of low pressure that we're currently watching in the Bay of Campeche to see if it organizes itself a little more and gains a few more tropical characteristics. As of right now, it has a 20% chance of further development over the next two days. It has a 70% chance of further development development over the next five days. We're also watching Tropical Depression number two. Right now it has sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. It's moving to the northeast anywhere between 15 and 20 miles per hour. It does look like it could become Tropical Depression Bill, but it poses absolutely no threat to the continental United States. A mostly clear night across the Tennessee Valley. It's not going to be as humid as it has been the last couple of nights. Again, dew points are going to continue to drop. I've got a low at around 68 degrees. Going to be a beautiful day at the pool, but again, not as humid. I hope you're not tired of me saying this yet because it truly is the best news as far as this forecast is concerned. Still, temperatures are going to climb into the mid and upper 80s. I've got a high right around 86 degrees. Have a good look at the next seven days. Overall, it's a very, very nice seven day forecast. 85 on Wednesday. Temperatures do climb a little bit for Thursday and Friday, but it's still going to be tolerable given the fact that it's not going to be grossly humid this week. And don't forget, Father's Day is on Sunday. That's right. It is coming up, and I know you're happy about about the humidity because Jordan is not afraid to let you know if it's going to be what is it disgustingly disgustingly humid, outside. humid. he'll let you know if, well they need to know they if it's going to be disgusting we got to give you a heads up All right let's toss it over